Hello, I just wanted to do a quick video before she who must be obeyed gets home and sees what I've done to her dining room table. Otherwise I won't have a place to live. So we'll get right into this party and get this party started. I've been pretty excited since yesterday when the proper Platinum Catalyst arrived, which is what you can see here. And uh, we've had the suspicion that the Chinese Catalyst heads, which you can see here on the left, it's been unchanged, may not contain much in the way of platinum because platinum out of all the transition metals is the most expensive. Transition metals being the ones that react with hydrocarbons to form uh, or start a catalyzing process and therefore heat. Um, iron, which is the very, very cheap, or silver, uh, vanadium, and I think what else have we got? There's uh, palladium, which is almost as expensive as platinum anyway. So who knows what the one on the left has got, but it's been sent to the lab for testing and we'll see what is actually in there. I suspect maybe iron, silver, maybe even some vanadium, who knows. So what we have here is 1% proper pure platinum in a catalyst on a proper substrate. And uh, I want to test and see if that means that there's any difference in the heat that you can get out of them. And also what you'll see here in um, the one on the left is it has the standard cotton batting fill. And the one on the right, you've replaced the reservoir with carbon felt material, which is what... Uh, we use we're going to be putting in the rebuild kits. So I'm going to fill these up and light them up and let them sit for a while and take some temperature measurements and see where we're at. Now that we've filled the hand warmers up we're going to activate the catalysts and note the word activate. You don't light them because they don't burn. They catalyze. And uh, if you go to high altitude I recommend the use of a flint igniter and this one uses gas, but it starts with a flint rather than a piezo ignition. You uh, can pre-warm the reservoir a bit, which helps get the evaporation process going. You know this is a silicone pad, so I don't burn the dining room table, or she who must be obeyed would not be very happy. Pass the flame over the catalyst material. Don't try and light it directly and when you see it glowing or when you assume that it may be glowing if it's too bright to see a glow then leave it and wait and see what happens I'm going to heat the base of the reservoir first and then pass the flame near the catalyst if you do get an ignition like that it means that the reservoir has been overfilled which is probably what I did with that one and uh, just blow the flame out right away. You don't want to ignite it by uh, priming it by having it burn because that just burns off the substrate and oxidizes uh, your active catalyzing material. Now I'm going to give these things a chance to, to start warming up and run some temperature tests. So by the way, if you overfill your hand warmer so that every time you try and get the head activated, all you get is a candle flame instead, and you want to get rid of some of that excess fuel, if you've done your reservoir with carbon felt, carbon felt is used in camping stoves to produce a flame, so you won't char it or overburn it, so you can just light it for a bit and allow a little bit of that excess fuel to burn off. I suppose you could even make a bit of a candle out of it. Just do that for a while and then once you've had some burn off you can just blow it out and then stick your head back on and try igniting again.
going to have to keep working away at it. If you overfill your reservoir, uh, that's what's going to happen. So, I'm going to wait a bit and uh, let evaporation have a chance to work away. So now that both the heads are catalyzed and activated, I want to do a comparison in the dark to show the comparison between the amount of heat each one may be given off. The standard unmodified Chinese one is on the left and the modified one with carbon felt and the proper platinum is on the right. So now I'm going to shut off the lights. You can barely see the one on the right glowing and you can't really see the Chinese one on the left. I'll blow on them a little bit. So now you can still see the platinum on the right. Seems pretty apparent that that one is giving off more heat. And we'll turn the lights on now. And that's what we have. Now for the next part of the demonstration we're going to take the heat and that's the Chinese one on the left at 108 and the one <coughs> Proper platinum catenist is on the right, 117. Now I'm using a meat thermometer because it's more accurate than the infrared uh, <coughs> trigger thermometer. The one on the left, which is the Chinese, is reading 124 Fahrenheit. The hand warmer on the right hand side is the platinum catalyst with the carbon felt and it is reading 138 as opposed to the other one. So there is a difference between the two of them. And for anyone that may be interested we'll just show this thermometer. 102, 124, 116. Now I want to demonstrate a phenomena that illustrates why the fuel can't evaporate as quickly because it gets obstructed. We'll start with the one on the left. Take the top off. The head is still burning so I'm going to use a device to remove the head. And there you go, you see how the head you can see all the charring on the cotton on the top. By the way, this is a good way when you return from a trip and you want to extinguish your device. You do it like that. Now, we'll use the other one. And as you can see, the carbon felt has no such problem. And that might be why on an ongoing basis the carbon felt might be better. If you're strapped for carbon felt you could actually rebuild by putting carbon felt just in the top half and leaving the cotton in the bottom. Then it won't burn. Thanks to She Who Must Be Obeyed for operating the follow spotlight. <laughs>